Cal Quantrill ready to roll. First pitch hit in the air center field. Over his straw into the gap makes the catch one down. I'm sorry three games three games under 500. Fastball up and into Jose Miranda. In tight with the fastball. It's the longest streak ever here in Cleveland. Didn't mean to. Taps it back to Quantrill. And he throws him out. Two down. Jorge Polanco activate. Good pitch in there for a strike. And a high pop up. Left field. Stephen Kwan is there. And the Twins go one, two, three. Good start for Cal Kwan. Max Kepler leading off for Minnesota here in the second inning. Cal Quantrill firing away with a 2 0 lead. 2 0 lead. Kepler caught in between 1 and 1. Up the middle, perfectly placed. Boy, was it ever. And Kepler has an infield single to start the second inning. The ball sounded like it got in on his hand. Pretty good in the. Beat part of the lineup. Oh. Throw to second base is in time and a great job to scoop it on the. You know, there are some statistics that make perfect sense, and then there are some stats that just make you shake your head, can't figure out, like in all of baseball. All right, so the, the two go hand in hand. The smarter, the hitter, more hitter you are, yeah. the, the more experience you have, the more walks you're going to take because you're, you're, you have that, there. you have the book, right? The Minnesota, their opponents score first. Doesn't matter how many or when, but when their opponents score first, Obviously, the other team scored first. And they well, yeah. And when they score first, they're 37 and 10. It's got to be the bullpen and starting pitching. It does not go deep. There. Kirloff down the line inside the chalk. It's a fair ball. Quan digs it out, and they'll have second and third with one up. That was a, a nice swing by Kirloff. He just stayed on it. The one guy that has done damage against his former team. Almost three homers against the uh, Guardians this year. Right back to Cal. And he's able to right the ship and throw him out at first base, two down. I don't know if Cal slipped out there. Yeah, just offense reminds me a little bit of the Guardians. And I know it's different, but I'm more or less looking at just how they've been in it. Killer to post as the uh, Twins have been. They're fifth best in the league when they score first at 27 and 9. Right at Jose Ramirez. He'll go to first. Inning over. Great job of working around some trouble by. <laughs> feels like it. They come back for another five gamer. Don't remind me. Yet. Forecast for tomorrow 80. For weather for a getaway day. Like when you played the teams, whether they're going good or bad, you never know. Off the plate, chopped to second. Rosario makes the play. One down. Not only had he looked up that he had been a batting title winner in single way, he just loved his work ethic. But he told it at him weird. And he says, You have to be healthy to be a great player. He says, You have all the ability. So, what happened last season after he's gone through leg injuries, cruised three different times this offseason, lost 17 pounds. He's kept the weight off and they worked on his leg strength to an all-star and even though Cruz is over in Washington He still watches every game and every at bat to help him in critiquing to keep him going Jose Ramirez throws out a rise two down what he can do But if he can spell a guy and move around you have to keep his bat in the line Right. Well, yeah, he's gonna get to come back. They want to play him. I think Matt hit on it. 
he's going to play. It's just maybe a different position every other day, one way or the other. But he thinks the layer about, you know, is getting in the lineup. He'd love to be set at one position, right. but that doesn't always happen, especially now in the club. He, <laughs> really? He's coming back from that knee surgery, and he said he still needs a full rehab assignment. He's got to get out. And, you know, I don't know what the number, the magic right. number of bats, but he needs at least probably 10, 15, who, maybe 20 games. I was going to say. Jose Miranda with a line drive, and it's up and over. Ahmed Rosario in the left field. Two out single. His men on base. And runners in scoring position. Coming into this at bat, he's hitting 249. When he has a man on base. Yeah, the concentration level. With two down. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. I was just going to say, yesterday we saw. Nobody has ever hit a ball onto East 9th Street, but that won't keep Polanco from trying. Yeah, you could try. Right at Josh Naylor, who hangs on and goes to the bag to retire the side. Midway through the third, single in the second. Five ball, center field on the first pitch. Gotta Nine love that. Strong. Easy play, one pitch, one out. Brantley tells him he's hurt every time I text him, so I guess, <laughs> I guess he really is probably. El <laughs> West, the only team over 500 in the division. Amazing. Ahmed Rosario, Gary Sanchez lumbering down the line, two away. Does this? And they said, well, this, then it's pretty much wide open for everyone else. Well, if you look at the East, you know? they, they have Tampa's at 40-33. Right. And that's uh, the fourth place team because Boston overtook them. And they're playing now in Toronto. And the big boy Manoa is pitching against them tonight. Yeah, the only other division that can. Now East. Yeah. Philadelphia's got 39 Philadelphia. wins. That's true. So they have, they have almost three teams that are 40 right. wins or better. And, you know. Yeah. It really is your best player. Think about it. They were under 500 for a while before they fired the manager and had to get hot just to get to where they're at. They're calling up some of their youngsters. The prospects, are. man. All three of those teams, the Pirates, Cubs, and Reds, have four. Base hit. Alex Kirloff. You talk about the He's been a state. completely yeah, go different ahead. guy. He's he, been a completely different hitter than the guy we saw the first time we saw Minnesota. At Urshela right to Ramirez. He'll go to second. Inning ending force. Middle of the fourth. Cleveland three. Minnesota nothing. Archer's coming off his best start as a twin as well. I believe it was six innings of no run baseball. And they have this to come here the other day. Swing and a miss by Jeffers. Good fastball from Cal Quant. Against the wall. He only ended up giving up the one run in that inning. Then a lot of solo homer. And that was uh, all he allowed, but it, they knocked a couple of outs on first pitches. He's been fine. And, you know, he's he's almost like, oh my goodness, that fair was ball. fair. Somehow he kept that inside the chalk, and it goes by Gonzalez as it ricocheted off the sidewall. He'll stay at second, though, with a one out double. Well, that did not. Luis arrives over two is flying out grounded out. And he takes a sinking fastball for straight. Had him off balance. I'll tell you what, they've really done a number on Luis Arise for the most part. He's now three for fifteen. Fly ball left field. Stephen Kwan makes the catch. It only took him nine pitches. Jorge Polanco leads off for Minnesota here in inning number six. He is 0 for 2. 
mentioned in his last start against Boston, he was done. Yeah. Tonight, only 59 pitches through five innings. Well, that so what Boston, a difference. Well, that bo that Boston lineup, they, they were swinging at first and first pitches. They, they grind your way through it. Weak ground ball. And Jimenez throws out Polanco one down. Out goes Ahmed Rosario. It's drifting out in the shallow left, and Juan in to make the catch. Two down. Speed pitch finds the top of the strike zone. Two and one. He got into that one. Deep. Straw back. Running out of real estate. It's off the wall. Bounces over his head. Quan's right there to back it up. But the throw is cut off. And Sanchez has a two out double. Well, he went to pretty much the. Here a lot from Western PA. Not too. Missed up high. Two and one to count. Call a strike. from giving them six complete innings of work. Kirloff, the last one high in the air, deep right field, back is Gonzalez, and it is gone, and Alex Kirloff makes it a one-run game. Boy, this kid has figured something out here after a miserable start to the season, the wrist injury, a demotion. He has come back with a vengeance. Hitter. That's a big boost for Minnesota. They hit it like they they like it. And that one big swing of the bat. Tie game that is up, it is out, it is gone. Two outs, nobody on base. Three batters later, it's 3 3. How about that? They come right back, back to backs. Tanner up. To third, Jose Ramirez sits and throws him out. Cleveland bullpen is quiet. Fastball yeah, knocked him boy, back. It happened so quickly in the last inning after two were out. Back to back homers. And the next thing you know, it's a tie game, and, and Quantrill's been throwing the ball great. You, you said it how many times? Hard to win. Yeah, when you score, you yeah, score three. three. Yeah, you have Four is the magic ma number. It Four really is. More For, changes everything. It, it sure does. And I mean, it, they've been three. Or look at both these teams, Matt. And on the year for the Guardians. Rosario. One down. There you go. But real, real quick, here's what happened. Two, three, or excuse me, seven and 26. So 33 games, but they have seven wins. But on the other hand, Minnesota, they're 10. Well, part of the problem, too, Rick, is that, you know, Cleveland offensively, they got 12. Well, that's one more hit than they've had in the last three games. They've had five hits in the last three games. So they have six tonight, but they're going to. Oh. 
Swing and a miss down. Miranda with a bouncer to third, cut off by Ramirez. One, two, three, go the Twins, stretch time. Boy, he didn't waste time. Off the end of the bat, maybe. Had <laughs> right him all the, the way, hat. aren't you? Yeah. Weak bounce to the first. Boy, how aggressive. Naylor, two down. Weekend after he went back to Atlanta and found out that Atlanta had made a deal. And the agent never told him what the Atlanta. Leaves. You guys know the rest oh, of the wow. story, yeah. So he fired him this weekend after finding out that the Braves had offered him something. He never found out about it until this past week. And the Dodgers are just enjoying that hot hitting that he has. He bets. Quantrill. Comes back from 3 0 to force a yeah. full count. Had a 3 0 count and he was pitches. The payoff. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. It's the longest.